Ruhe. Just get some armor, just in case. staying in this B&B and it's just a bit weird man it's just a bit strange to be honest like the vibe the vibe is off I don't know. I gotta sleep in a single bed first of all there's like five other there's like five five other rooms in this place all have got double beds and they're all empty but also there's a load of people downstairs. Like I can hear them, I'm not seeing them. When I was here this afternoon it was dead quiet and dead empty. And also this thing keeps making a noise. Don't know what for, don't know what the crack is. But it's not nice man. It's gonna keep me up. Also right, there's like, there's Wi-Fi. But it just doesn't work. And there's like no signal because we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna die here. This, this is the end for me. What are we doing? We're in the zoo. We're just about to go see some red pandas. Mm. And then some meerkats probably at some <sighs> point. Meerkats are the best. We're about halfway round. We've seen penguins. We've seen orangutans. We didn't see a uh, jaguar. No. Because there wasn't one there. It was hiding on us. But just, just having a nice day of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Somebody we just witnessed that. Um, one giraffe drank the other giraffe's wee. <laughs> Nasty, man. That's crazy looking bird. It's got furry feet. It has. It's got, it's got weird. It looks like it's wearing like pants. It's got a banana on its head. That's bad. It's like a 70s bird. What's in this one? Hostages. <laughs> Something else. fucking hound man. I just wanted to have a little hippie-ish talk about the rain, if that's alright. It's gonna be very new age, but also it's it's true. So it's currently raining, as it often does in the northwest of England. And I used to really hate the rain. It used to really get me down. And I don't know if that's because like when you're a kid, you know, you can't go out when it's raining. There's not as much to do, it just makes you a bit sad. Also in the winter where I live, when it rains, it's fucking cold, man. But I've just been out for a walk in the rain because I no longer hate it. I actually quite like it, particularly at this time of year. In spring and summer, when it rains, going for a walk in the park near mine is, is just a beautiful experience. In life, just as a general rule, you want to hate as little amount of things as possible, right? Because it's just fucking neggy energy. Bad vibes, man. And you don't want that, like, why would you put yourself through that? So if you, if you can get away with not hating something, you should try and do it. So I reached a point where I was like, why do I hate the rain? I don't really want to hate the rain. It's kind of a waste of time hating the rain, because from now until the day that I die, there will be rain. And I don't want to be a 40 odd year old man who still gets disgruntled about the rain. Because that's definitely a waste of time. And then I also realised that without the rain, all the, the beautiful plants and the trees and the grass, all of which I love, like I love nature, all of that would perish. So this thing that seems like a, a negative, moody inconvenience just because the sky gets a bit grey when it happens and it makes your clothes a bit damp, is actually what replenishes everything around us. And that's an obvious statement. But I feel like it's not to be undervalued because really I'm not I'm talking about the rain but I'm talking about life the wider point that I'm trying to make here is there are going to be things that you don't like and there's going to be things that are bad in your life i.e. the rain in in this metaphor but they're going to happen like they are going to happen and that's not to say that you can't feel negative about it or sad about it but it's going to happen so like get used to it because that's that's just what life is so really you should minimize the amount of time you spend being caught up in that sadness because it's inevitable so to some degree you should just a accept it and b you should be prepared for it anyway because it's fucking inevitable doesn't mean that you're not going to be sad about it doesn't mean that you're not going to get annoyed when you get rained on but like, there's not really much use in it beyond a point because it's gonna happen. So appreciate the rain, both physically and metaphorically. And go for a walk in the park while it's raining because it's gorgeous. Ah yeah, so, flying to Berlin in two days, um, last week our flight got cancelled, which obviously was a bit of a pain in the ass. there was like an hour of panic, we had to book different hotels, we're flying out a day earlier than we had originally planned, um, but it's all sound, we're staying in one hotel for the first night, and then moving to a different hotel, and for the remaining three days I'm going with Sean who I play in the band with and we're meeting Jamie who is also in the band because he's he's in Germany already and um, we're gonna meet him out there and there's no real plan to be honest we're just gonna explore 
just fight them out for a bit. We've got plenty of time now that we've got four days instead of three. Um, so there's no real rush to get anything done. It's been a weird week this week. I had like trouble with my car and obviously with the flights being cancelled it was a bit like stressful and it was just beginning to like aerate me. I was getting really frustrated and then I was in the gym the other day and I had like a like a little moment where I was like, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> you've been you've been all negative for no reason. You're about to go to Berlin with your two best mates. You got a roof over your head. A girlfriend who'll film your clips for you. <laughs> I just like stop being so neggy because really, when you take a step back and look at it, life is pretty sound, and especially right now. So the next video will be the Ver the Berlin vlog, the Berlin vlog, the Berlin vlog. It's gonna be sick. It's probably not gonna be very informative, but it'll be funny. So, say that.